90% of times we accuse the word of witchcraft, yet I have seen more witches in church. I have seen more witches on the pulpit than uh, the word. Surprisingly, Apostle Paul listed witchcraft as one of the works of the flesh. Of course, he warned the church to abstain from witchcraft. In other words, every time you conceive lusts toward an individual and you enter into the realm of imaginations or what we call imaginary thoughts toward an individual, you know what you're doing? You are casting a witchcraft spell of lust into that individual. So witchcraft is practiced in your imaginary abilities. You, you don't have to be initiated into a certain occultism to practice witchcraft. When you wished death to an individual mentally, you are projecting forces of death because we deployed spiritual powers through the gate of imaginations. Filthy imaginations, of course, unlock demonic portals to project, unleash, and deploy demonic spirits. A man is an ability, is an authority of authorities. You were created to deploy spirits, to rule over creatures that are higher in times of abilities. And that's why in the introduction of God's original intention for man was that he should have dominion over creatures, over spirit creatures in the air, fowls of the air. These are not literal air, I mean fowls in the air. Creatures, demonic spirits, or let's not say demonic spirits that are in the sea and of course the beast of the field. We saw that one of the beasts of the field had the capacity to converse with man. So that wasn't a natural serpent. It's a spirit. So spirit, spirits in the heavens are subject to our imaginations. And there are two major spirits. You have the unclean spirit, and of course you have the Holy Spirit. And sometimes when we speak of the Holy Spirit, the thing that every time you say Holy Spirit, they're referring to the third person of the Trinity. So that's the church doesn't know distance. Of course, there are, there are billions and trillions of spirits that are holy. They are subject to the commanding authority of the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. So that's what we call the Holy Spirit. The anytime, wherever you see this Spirit is referring to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Holy is referring to the third person of the Godhead. But there are spirits. I once told her that mercy is a spirit. Goodness is a spirit. He said, goodness and mercy shall follow me. They are angels. They are spirits. They are in, in the class of spirits. Faith is a spirit. The spirit of faith. Wisdom is a spirit. Understanding is a spirit. Mind is a spirit. Counsel is a spirit. Fear of God, that's the spirit that commands, that communicates the fear of God. You think that the spirit of wisdom is one? There are trillions of spirits of wisdom for the possession of God's people. And that's why the Bible says Jesus received the Holy Spirit with that measure. So there are measures of spirits.